Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie. Today I would love to do a short reading blog, reading some spring books and um, I am very excited because I've not read many spring books so far so and I would love to hear if you have all already read some spring books and you can recommend some for, uh, to me and I have my tea today I am loving um, drinking a tea and just relaxing so the first book that I am going to peruse is The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady uh, I think this book is very well known I've uh, seen it on YouTube many times and many people love it and uh, I love it too here it says a charm charming portrait of the English countryside this facsimile edition of Edith Holden's original 1906 diary is filled with exquisite watercolor paintings and delightful observations of the changing seasons yeah it's a very lovely book and also there are some some poems sometimes and she also takes notes about important events during april so for example here it says april 1 all fool's day april 23 saint george day april april 24 saint mark's eve i don't i have never heard about saint mark's eve but i love the illustrations they are so so peaceful so I am going to peruse this book. I am looking forward to it. And for the first time, I'm going to to read in this book the complete books of the Flower Fairies. Um, this is a new book in my collection, and it has really cute, beautiful illustrations. Mm -hmm. flower fairies of the spring so i am going to peruse that also and we'll report back and the last book is this the wind and the willows and i'm very very excited to finally read it um last year i read the wind and the willows for the first time and i loved it it's really really beautiful the protagonists are adorable and it's a legendary book i think it's it's just a book that gives yes warm vibes and it's very cozy most of it is very cozy kenneth graham's delightful characters are brought to life in this graphic version of his timeless tale of fun and friendship i love that it's really a tale of fun and friendship that's what i love the most about this book i have high expectations i'm hoping that i am going to enjoy it very much it's really cute I love the colors um, and I think it's definitely a book for spring but I, I think all, also to all for all seasons because the story takes place during uh, I think all the seasons um, it has also this <laughs> okay so I think I'm going to start with this one and then report back I love to hear the story again um, uh, because the Wind and the Willows starts with the spring cleaning and Maul uh, just has had enough of spring cleaning and in a very short time he is on the surface and ready to have adventures I love it I think the the animals here uh, look very cute so i i didn't uh, remember that mol has never seen a river and ho and so he's enchanted by it and i and then he in the story he meets um rat and i love that they have suits i suppose because uh, it has this novel was written a long time ago I think at the beginning um at the beginning of the 1900s and then they go on a little excursion 
on the river and the adventure starts. So I just read the first pages and I love these things on the river. Mole asked, and you really live by the river? What a jolly life. And Rat says, by it and with it and on it and in it. It's my world and I don't want any other. What it hasn't got isn't worth having. And what it doesn't know isn't worth knowing. I love it. It really reminded me of the book and uh, how uh, food is very important. Rat has always a, um, a basket, a luncheon basket, a wicker luncheon basket, and he has lots of delicious food to eat with mole. So definitely finishing today this uh, graphic novel. It really <laughs> made me smile. I am very glad that I finally picked up this graphic novel. Okay, now I am going to peruse the complete books of the flower fairies. I'm going to peruse um, just a spring for this time. So in this book there is flower fairies for each season. Flower fairies of the garden, of the trees, of the wayside. I love it. Introduction. Wow, I am very impressed. I didn't know anything about the author. So she was born in uh, Great Britain on the 28th of June, 1895. I didn't know this book was so uh, old. And she was ill as a child uh, and she suffered from epilepsy. And then she took a correspondence course at Croydon Art Society. That's great. So it says she believed in truth, truth to nature, and her first work was accepted for publication when she was 16, for publication as a set of postcards. I love it. The fairies too were painted from life, modeled on the children who attended her sister's nursery school. When the paintings were complete, she wrote the accompanying poems. Ah, and her first book was Flower Fairies of the Spring, published in 1923. I love it. I'm really excited. Flower Fairies of the Spring. So beautiful. The Song of the Cold Food Fairy. So this is the fairy. And it says, the winds of marsh are king and cold. I feel them not, for I am bold. I wait not for my leaves to grow. They follow after, they are slow. My yellow blooms are brave and bright. I greet the spring with all my might. I love it. So definitely, I'm definitely, um, Reading all the spring poems uh, for spring. Let's peruse now the country diary of an Edwardian lady. So there is a poem here by Tennyson, the May Queen. You must wake and call me early. Call me early, mother dear. Tomorrow will be the happiest time of all the glad new year. Of all the glad new year, mother, the mother's merriest day. For I am to be queen of the May, mother. I am to be queen of the May. I didn't know about the May Queen. Um, I learned about it in the tale of Cuckoo Browwood, one of the books of the cottage tales of Beatrice Potter. Definitely recommend it. It had lots of beautiful descriptions of spring and the festivities. So I'm going to continue reading this poem. I would like to be able to do something like that, but I cannot, I cannot paint to do that. This 
beautiful paintings and then also have a page where you just uh, write what your observations for the day were, your nature observations and the walks that you took, just to, to feel more um, all what happens around you and appreciate more nature. I'm very glad that I've perused and read a little bit in uh, these three books. Uh, I love them. Uh, I can definitely recommend them. They are very cozy and beautiful to peruse, enjoy the illustrations and also enjoy the, the poems. And this is especially beautiful. I didn't know a lot about this book. And also this and also this graphic novel it's very promising i cannot wait to to read it i think i'm going to collect more in this from these graphic novels by osborne i hope you have a lovely day i would love to hear if you have read some great spring books thanks so much for watching and i will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video bye The Song of the Crocus Fairies Crocus of yellow, new and gay Mauve and purple in brave array Crocus white like a cap of light Hundreds of them are smiling up Each with a flame in its shining cup By the touch of the warm and welcome sun Open suddenly, springs began Dance them fairies for joy and sing the song of the coming again of a spring.